EA currently has 81 plus overall ultimate packs in the store and they cost $40. I'm gonna open up a couple today. Don't follow my example. So yeah, here they are. Um, 81 plus overall ultimate packs. Uh, the odds are not amazing. I mean, you get a 26% chance at a 90 or better. Yeah, they, they would cost uh, $40 Canadian if you wanted to open up these packs. Now, I'm not personally spending money on these packs. I can't. I'm gonna use coins. I'm using every coin that I have to open up three of these packs here today. Don't do this. Now, if you guys missed yesterday's video, yesterday's content wasn't in packs when I did my big pack opening at five. So I'm gonna try and pull the stuff that they released yesterday. We have all of these cards and all of these cards. There's just, there's so many cards available that I might as well give myself a shot at some of them. We had 95 McKinnon and Yossi and all these guys. And hey, Robin Dionisio, I was at the game where he got the hat trick. It was wild. Like we gotta try and get these cards. So. I'm opening three of the 81 plus ultimate packs. Wish me luck. Now, before I open up the first one, if you guys are new, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm on that road to 50K. I'd really appreciate your support. Let's get into this 81 plus overall ultimate pack opening. 180K down the drain. We're doing three of them. Oh boy. I really hope that I get some, uh, some something here. Now, here's the thing. They're 180K. The odds of you actually getting anything worth 180K in these packs is extremely slim. Even pulling a 90 is only gonna get you, what, like 50K? So you're not even close to getting back your coin. You gotta get very lucky in these packs if you wanna make back anything. And so we get an 84, John Carlson. We get Jamie Lee Ratray. Bang. I said I wanted Nathan McKinnon. And I got Nathan McKinnon. I got the 87 Nathan McKinnon. It is a purple, we get a purple. Ah, uh, Troy Stetcher, the former Red Wing, 88. So we get an 87, an 85, then an 88. Couple purples in this pack, not too bad. Zach Hyman. We get Malkin at 84. Come on, give me some more purple glow. Some more 86 plus. We have two. And I know it's kind of greedy that I want more, but I want like six or seven per pack. You know what I mean? Anything else in the pack? No. All right. So we're going to end off with an 88 high out of this one. 88s are what? Maybe 30K? 35? McKinnon's like 25. I didn't make back half. So we're going to send that all to the collection and move on to pack number two. Best pull so far is 88 Troy Stetcher, the former Detroit Red Wing, but uh, not a great pull. Pack number two here. Hopefully a little bit better here. We have an 88, and I will take a look at the value and whatnot and see how we did. We get Quinn Hughes, Caprizov at 85. So these are like 10K a card. So if we get a bunch of 85s, it's not too bad. We'll get some value back. Another 85 with Brandon Gignac. I didn't say his name right, but here you go. So back-to-back -back 85s. We get our first special card in this one. For Choosy, the former wing, another 85. So, I mean, 85s alone here, we got over 30k back. Okay, can't be upset with that. Can be upset that we don't have a purple. Come on, keep it coming. Give me some big pulls here. Thomas Hurdle, Brock Besser. We get a base icon. I think they're like 25, 2800, not worth too much. Jari, 83, another base icon there. Are we gonna... Okay, I was gonna say, we get 90 Valerie in the Chew skin. And we get another one of these clutch moment cards in Archer's Seal. Oh, he's a goalie, okay. Um, I was gonna say his stats are very low, but yeah, he is a goalie, 6'4 goalie. We get a 90 with Valerie Nachushkin. We almost went that entire pack without getting a purple, and I was very concerned. The pack ended up looking pretty solid. A couple of the 85 clutch moment cards, a 90 Valerie Nachushkin, and we also had uh, 85 Kaprizov and 85 uh, Petra Nieminen. I didn't say her name right. So again, we're gonna send that all to the collection, and then we're gonna open up one more of these packs. And then what I wanna do is go and put all the best pulls and see what they're all selling for and add that all up and uh, see how much we lost today because we definitely are going to lose coins. There's there's no way around it. I'm spending almost 600k. I'm not going to get 600k back. Pack number three. Can we get anything huge? We did get a 90. You're not guaranteed. Uh, another 90. The same 90. <laughs> Valerie Nachushkin again. The six foot four forward. Decent skating. He might sell for a little bit. We have two 90 overall pulls. Not upset with that. Can we get anything else? They're not going to sell for a ton. I know this. They're not going to sell for 200k and make back the pack or anything like that. I get that. But they are going to sell for a bit. However, the rest of this pack is going to sell for absolutely nothing. Wow. So we got the 90. And other than the 90, our best pull was an 82. That's absolutely brutal. So I went ahead and got all the best cards that we pulled here today. A couple 90 to shoe skins. We got 88 Stetcher, 87 McKinnon. I'm going to check out their value. We're going to add everything up, and we're going to see how much value I made and lost in this pack opening.
All right, so the Chushkin's up first, and he's selling for about... Si so the cheapest one is 62k. So what I do for my value is I always just go by the lowest value on the market. There's one for 62. So we have two of them. That's 125, we'll say, in total for these two. So 125k. That's not bad. Next up, we have Troy Stetcher at 88 overall. I'm pretty sure you can still get trade deadline collectible, so we might sell for a little bit. There's none on the auction house. So what I'll do instead, we'll head over here, go 88, and then I'll just look in the trade deadline uh, collection. If there's nothing there, we'll just go based off of uh, other cards. There are 88s here. 35. So we'll say 35 for them. So that's going to be 160 for those three cards combined. Nathan McKinnon now. We're at 160 for those three cards. So uh, we'll see what Nathan McKinnon's selling for. I don't expect him to be too high. It looks like 28. I'll take 28. That's a lot more than I thought he was going for. So that's not bad. So let's say 188 then for those four cards. We'll take out, check out Brandon here. Now, because he's a clutch moment card, he might be selling for more, which would be really good, by the way. Just saying. That would be very helpful. And it looks like they are selling for a lot more because they are clutch moment cards. You use these to get the collectibles. So I'm going to get 40K, we'll say, for him. Say 45, 45K. So that's not bad. I'm going to assume it's the same price for this one. Just going to double check here. But I assume it's the same. Yeah. So 45. So we're getting 45K. That's 90K for those two cards right there. And then the 85s, we have three of them. I'm just going to search for Kirill. He'll be the most expensive one. But uh, 85s in general, they're around 10K, maybe 11 or 12, depending on the time of day. But that's going to change. Okay. So 12K. Hmm. I'll look for another one. Kirill might be worth a little bit more then. And then the other ones might be under. With 85s, I, I'm just going to generalize them. I'm not going to look at them specifically for each one because they're all going to have pretty much the same value. Yeah, so 10K. That, that's pretty much what I figured. They'd be around 10K. So that's a 30K value for those three. So with those cards, I'll add it up. It's about 300K because these cards are selling for so much. That's 90K right there. Another 120 for these two combined. And then everything else in between. It's about 300K. I spent 600K almost on the pack opening. And then we have a couple 83s that will sell for a little bit and some 82s and we'll quick sell everything else. In the end, I still lost a lot of coin. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's pack opening. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and let me know down below what you think of the 81 plus $40 ultimate packs. It's not worth it. I opened up with coin, and I like opening them with money, and you got all this stuff. You probably still feel scammed. Don't open packs. Don't buy packs. They're a scam. At the end of the day, it's just not worth it. Is any of what I got today worth $40? Think about it. Would you pay $40 for that? No. But I appreciate you guys hanging out. Hopefully, you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.